Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and welcome to the third video in the INAV from Flash to Flight series. In the previous episodes we covered the flashing and the basic hardware setup and in the second episode we covered board orientation, Mach orientation and the calibration of the accelerometer and the magnetometer. In this episode let's cover the mixer and the outputs and how to solve your problems where for example your motors are not connected like they are supposed to be connected. Because for example, your motor number one is on the left forward instead of right backward side. You do not need resource mapping, you have something equally useful. So, let's go. The first thing we should do for the mixer and output is of course go to the mixer top and here First, choose the platform configuration. Uh, we have it pre-configured for the multi-rotor and the quad X. Bear in mind, if you are setting up something different like the Hexa Y6, Hexa Plus, Hexa X, Octa, Etail, Etail, Vtail or whatever else, there are ready-made presets most probably for you. Because we are doing something uh, not maybe super fancy, just something that flies great because we are working with Quad X, we have to select the Quad X over here as the mixer preset we want to use. Mixer is the information for the flight controller on how motors are located and what motors are doing. If the motor number one, for example, if I spin it up, will it mean that the Quad will roll left or roll right? Will it roll forward? or backwards and how the yaw will act on that. The correctly set up mixer is extremely important because without correctly set up mixer your quad will not fly. We want to work with the quad X so load mixer, the mixer was filled with the values. For example, roll on the motor one minus one means that if the motor number one will spin faster, it will roll to the left. Uh, on the other hand, on the number three, you see it means one, that if the motor three spins faster, then it will roll to the right. Usually there is really no need to worry about that. And we assume that for now we did it by the book and our motor number one is num over here, motor two is here, number three is here and four is here. We are almost done with the mixer. So let's save and the reboot. And now let's go to the output tab to verify if everything is really working like expected. That means we go to the outputs and enable motor and servos output. You have to do it for enough to start outputting the signal for the ESC. Without this you will not fly. And the second of all you have to choose the ESC protocol. Uh, we stick with the one shot 125 which is really like this is for the super legacy ESC. Everything that's modern will work with the D-Shot and our recommendation is to go with D-Shot 600 on the fast F4s and F7s. And with the F411s, for example, you can go with the D-Shot 300. But usually D-Shot 600 works just fine and you should be ready to go. Never, absolutely never, enable stop motors on road throttle on the mini quads because you will regret this decision in flight. Trust me, you will. And if you know the number of motor poles, uh, this uh, standard motors for 3 to 5 inches usually, no, uh, 5 to 7 inches, propellers have 14 poles. If you are however working with something either very small or very big, uh, you want to set it if in the future you will want to show the RPM in the OSD or use the RPM filtering. However, we will not be using RPM filtering, so just leave it at default 14. Now, now let's hit save and reboot and now it's time. If you had propellers on your motor, it's time to remove the propellers, absolutely remove all the propellers, connect the battery and now we have to verify if the motor order we have entered over here is matching the reality. This is our information how it should be working. So, we have to understand the risk and enable output and just touch slightly each of the motors with propellers removed to see if the motor number one is really rotating 
if we try to rotate motor number one, we are really rotating motor number one. If every motor in every position reacts accordingly to the slider over here, we are golden. If not, then please note on the piece of the paper, if you move motor number one, which motor is spinning? Is it on the right back, right forward, left back, left forward because now we can use the magical mixer wizard if however motor number one is really a motor number one this is all we have to do if however not we go to the mixer and use the mixer wizard which is available only for the aquatics and over here we only have to enter the information which motor is located at which position. By default, it's the with the default setup, but if we really have a super fancy configuration somewhere, we can just fill it with our custom mixer, hit apply, the mixer will be updated, and after hitting save and reboot, our mixer should be set up correctly. However, my advice is to usually try to wire everything like it should be wired because it's really solving a lot of problems in the future. This part was kind of short and was kind of simple because it's only mixer and only outputs. Uh, so that's all for today and in the next episode we will talk most probably about the receiver and about the flight modes.